Hello, I'm Kim Brewster Rossiter, and on Marathon Weekend in Baton Rouge, this is I really don't know how to put it into any other word other than what you're watching right now. The joy, the smiles, it tells the story for itself. Hi everyone, welcome to Spotlight Saturday, episode 156. We're here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana for the fifth uh, annual Louisiana Marathon. Very excited to be here. Uh, when my dad and I were talking about what we wanted to capture in this week's episode, uh, we decided that the evolution, right, the journey from one one rider back five years ago, uh, six years ago, to now having over 90 riders this weekend. Uh, Brianna, what do you kind of feel about that, that evolution? I just think it's an amazing experience to, have, to be able to be included in such a big event and for, for, for the doors to be opened and for um, that proof of concept to just go off without a hitch and to be able to bring 90 riders back only five years later. It's just, it's amazing. Exactly. So not only the evolution of it, but also highlighting the consistency, how even though the people might change and the experiences might change, it's still the same family coming together in the same spot uh, for the fifth year in a row now. Um, so what we're going to do is interview people who uh, kind of have a story that relates to that uh, overall theme of evolution and consistency. Joe, you're going to do some interviews? I am. I yeah. got my, uh, my vlog uh, coach here by my side and yes, uh, we're going to figure this out. Yeah, so we're all going to do some interviews and hopefully make a really good episode, so stay tuned and enjoy. What's going on everyone? Joe here with Scott, Ambassador, Lead Guardian Angel, Extra Equipment Manager, Equipment Manager Extraordinaire for uh, Katie up in the NCR. And uh, this is his first year at TLM and you know he's super excited to be here. So what does this mean to you uh, representing Angels Angels here in Baton Rouge for the first time? Um, I didn't even realize we were running a race. I thought we were just all hanging out. It's yeah. awesome down here. Like everywhere you look, there's pink. It's ridiculous. It, it's it's more of a family event than anything else. Like this is this is insane. It, it is, really is. It is insane. Uh, year one, one rider. Year six, ninety four. We don't have, we don't have to do that. Uh, what are you looking forward to most? Uh, the after party on Saturday, like the dinner, king cake. I've never had it, but so, I, so I are you actually awesome. running, or are you just here to eat and make new friends? Eat and make new friends. Well, well, that's perfect, man. Uh, with, a little bit of running. With that, I'll say cheers. And uh, there's some uh, laissez le bon temps roulet. Briley's going to edit that. What's up, Law? Hey. I mean, every time I go out of town, you show up. It's a beautiful thing. So, uh, a couple years back, you're running this race. You ran that year, right? You were telling me a story about you're on the LSU campus. What happened? So, uh, did the best training I could, uh -huh. and I still got passed. You still got passed? Yep. What happened, man? Who passed you? Big dudes. Big dudes? Big dudes in pink. Really? Maybe some zebra print. Uh -huh. Pushing a team, yeah. making a lot of noise. And it made you Maybe reflect? Some cowbells. Then you started to reflect. Yeah. Well, fast forward the clock a couple years later, you were so intrigued that now you're our ambassador in Denver. Yep. It's a great story, man. Yep. Welcome back to Baton Rouge. Yeah. Oh, I'm um, coming to you live from the Welcome Center here in Baton Rouge. We had a 5K and quarter marathon this morning that was canceled, but we took a couple of laps around the uh, building and we made it happen. So I'm here with Mr. Angel Runner Chris Little. And uh, Chris, what? how many times have you done Louisiana Marathon? Uh, this will be my fifth year. Awesome. What makes you keep coming back? Uh, the course, the food, the smiles, everything about it. It's just, uh, it's, it's my favorite race I get to do all year. I'm sorry, what was that? It's your favorite race that I get to do all year, except for the sunset. That's 5K. much better. Very good. Yeah, yes, that's you're the doing right great. Answer. That's perfect. <laughs> Woo! Yay, Carly! Woo! Now you got to give the governor Smile. his. Smile. Okay, wait. Let's get them both. Let's get them both. You want to give the governor right. his? Give John his. No, no. Take the book out your hand. You got to put it on his neck. You got to put it on oh, him. Mama said no. no, no. <laughs> doing this right. Doing it right. Just on right his head. You put yours down. Give him yours. Yay, Carly! I'm here with Mr. Craig Sweeney, one of the race directors for TLM. How are you? Doing great. How are you, Chris? Doing good. So, um, can you tell us a little bit about how Ainsley's Angels became a part of Louisiana Marathon? Well, yeah, it goes back to uh, getting a call from uh, Rooster to see what we can do to do a proof of concept um, first year and. Uh, Amanda, who went uh, to LSU, right? Two-time uh, graduate. And um, so uh, 
the first year, I remember LSU fight song um, coming down the finish line, and um, it's just grown from there. I think uh, each year, more and more chairs and, and, and runners, and um, you know, it's been a it's been a great uh, history. I'm here this morning with two amazing rider athlete moms. Introduce yourselves. Christy Cormier, Carly's mm -hmm. mom. Donna Coward, Molly's mom. And so. You guys have come to TLM multiple times. Jonna, how many times have y'all been here? This is our fifth. And how many times about, has Carly been? Fifth. Okay. So this is a really cool story. Um, you guys just keep on coming back, keep on coming back. What do y'all feel like with like how the growth process has happened in those five years you've witnessed? Um, so Jonna and I met here. We did. It was not five years ago, but it was five TLMs ago. Yes. And... Um, we kind of connected because we were talking a whole lot about how we wish that we could have more of a family type thing going on where mamas could spend some time talking to each other because you know we're a tribe and we don't get lots of downtime and in that downtime we don't really get to spend with each other um, so we come back for that we come back to see each other we know we'll see each other and I don't know our girls love it that's right and they used to be like our girls have in common that they're loud and make these noises that you know sometimes people don't understand but um, because I met this sweet family it taught me to understand that it's okay it's okay to make noises and okay to be like that and it's good to be around people who don't care about the noises and know that it's communicating and figuring out what that is and I think that over the past five TLMs and the four years in between it it's um, taught us a language of love and a language that you just don't know unless you're in our lives and yeah, to and be I, able to share that that's and I've great. said it from day one I never have to apologize so coming yep. to an AA event of any kind I don't have to apologize for how my child is and it's such a respite and you should never just just side note you should never ever have to right, apologize ever. for that but I'm learning I'm learning that yeah. so um, it, it affects this whole ministry affects um, every gamut of it, every you know, from the rider to the athlete to the pusher to the moms to the dads. Yeah. And I think that um, one of the really cool things is that, you know, you think that you always kind of know when you're in it, and to watch the experiences of other families helps you learn even more. And that's really important. And we get to watch the people that dedicate themselves in such a physical way learn things that we can't teach them, that only our kids can teach them, and that's a really amazing thing to watch. Yeah, because when I met Carly, she was like a caterpillar, and now she's a butterfly. Yeah, right. I know, and it's because like yesterday, she was ministering to everybody. Like, she was making sure everybody was okay. And even when Rooster sat on her chair, she didn't like kick him off or anything. She was like, have and a seat. And just for the record, she gave me a hug, and she told she me yeah. that she loved me this morning. Yeah. I am her favorite. <laughs> so, well, I thank y'all so much for taking the Absolutely. time out. Um, it was awesome to see you guys. Anytime we all get to be together as a family, it's a, um, a very sweet <laughs> and special time. So, um, we'll see you at TLM again yes. next year. We'll Absolutely. Tell everybody bye. 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 This man has been critical to the execution in his local ambassadorship, critical to the execution in our Ragnar effort, put chairs together at Marine Corps Marathon, is always a text message away for me to say, hey bro, how do you turn a wrench? Like, I don't know how to do that stuff. I'm serious. <laughs> hey, I need a hammer and nail. Do I use a regular hammer? Yeah. I ask him and he tells me how to do it. And I said to myself, I want to embarrass him a little bit, but I also want to present him with the third ever president of Ainsley's Angels coin for excellence and inclusion. There's only three people, two people that have these. Miss Peggy Wolf, Ainsley's physical therapist, Miss Ann Hupp, the first ever race director of Timer for Ainsley's first race in 2008, and my brother, Reagan McGee. Please accept this. Hey, I'm here with Peyton. What's up, man? What's up? It's uh, January 19th, 2019 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And what did you just tell me you're going to do in 2020, October? 2020, Marine Corps Marathon. What? You're running the whole marathon. 20 yes. In 2020, yes. October, Washington, D.C., look out. Yes. Because Peyton's coming to town. Yes. You heard it here first. <laughs> Good job, man. I like it. Let's have fun. I'll tell you, man, every single time I go somewhere, I hear a story. And this one just, like, this story made me, I just, I grab my camera. I'm like, what's, what's the bottom line here? So how, what's the story? How did you get involved in this stuff? What's going on? What happened? So, 
We have friends who mm -hmm. join with Ainsley's Angels here okay. in Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Yeah. We are in Mississippi at okay. a campground. Uh -huh. Been seeing it. Right. We're like, oh wow, we don't know what this is for right. months. Uh -huh. And we went to check out a try that was going on at the campground we were at, and we came around the corner. And there was the white truck with the big old Ainsley's Angels logo and a chariot. And I grabbed her and was like, we were just talking. Like, we talked about it. Yeah. We walked out the door and went over there. And Beth looks at her and she what? goes, Who? Beth. What? This lady? What What did you do? What did she uh, say? What did she, she say? She goes, come over here and come talk to me. Yeah. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. <laughs> and what, what, what were you saying a second ago? I said four years ago here at um, Louisiana Marathon, yeah. I decided I was going to run with the uh, Ainsley's yeah. Angels. And at the expo, I went to the booth and I said, hey, can I run? Mm -hmm. This lady right what? here. Oh, once again. Amazing. <laughs> Beth Marie said, yeah. yes, you can run with me. Huh? I ran with her and yeah. Team Logan and the rest is history. What Four is, years what, later. What do you have to say about all this <laughs> nonsense that I'm hearing? Is this true? Shenanigans. Shenanigans. This is this Man, I'll tell you, the story time on Spotlight Saturday just makes me want to smile. <laughs> morning, y'all. It's Christine. It's Sunday morning. Coming to you from the Welcome Center. We're so grateful for the Louisiana Marathon and for uh, the city of Baton Rouge for just including us at such a, a high level. And they allow us to come in and set up chairs on Friday. We use them all weekend. We store them in here. And it's really cold out this morning. So it's great that we have a warm place to keep everybody until it's time to go to the start, which is going to happen pretty soon. But the love and the excitement that's contained behind those walls, um, it's a feeling. It's not something I could show you on this video. And here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes, we're rolling out to the start. And uh, it's just something you have to experience for yourself. It's a feeling that I can't, I, I can't put it into words. And as I walk around and I look at just how much we've grown and I see all of our trailers over here, and then I look into this parking lot, and it blows my mind. All of these cars are here today because of inclusion, because of our sweet aunts, because parents trust our angel runners to come and do this race with their wonderful special children and adults. And our wonderful runners are so unselfish that they train in order to give these people something they can't have on their own. And I'm telling you, what's up, Mr. Fellows? How are you? Hey, man, we're just warming up. Yeah, we we're are. good. What are we about to go do, man? Sunday in Baton Rouge. Sunday in Baton Rouge? Well, right now, it's dark. Yeah, it you is You can't dark. see anything. What, what the heck? What do you think about all this stuff around us, man? This is what it's all about. Yeah, brother. It's I wild. I'm coming back around. Come back around. I am coming around. I'm back. Here you go. What do you got? So we got at least 13 miles, yeah. maybe 26 mm -hmm. miles, and then we're going to add a point one or a point two, Just depending. Just a little extra, a little lane yet for you. I like that. 13 Whoa. point wonderful. Oh, uh, well, you know, that's where we added, that's where you get the extra, right? Mm -hmm. So we're here with the fam. We love it. We love the Angels Angels. We love Brewster. We love Joe. We love to give Joe the business because he deserves it every single time. <laughs> the business. I love that. Always word. give him the business. <laughs> no, uh, uh, uh. That's perfect. But here, we love y'all. We're ready to roll. We're going to get out there. We're about to make the course safe. We're about to have a great day. And, uh, man, this is what it's about. That's it. Showtime. We'll see you at the finish. Let's festival. get ready to rumble. Giddy up. Three, two, one. There goes our Ainsley's Angels. Let's give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. Have a great race, Angels. Angels, we look forward to welcoming you back here to the finish line of the Louisiana Marathon, Louisiana Half Marathon. Have a great race. LSU campus hey, never looks so good. Seven and a half miles. Got two teams. That's better than one. How you doing, baby? Yeah, I'm doing good. Hey, JJ. What's oh, up? Oh, yeah. Hey, Kaylee, girl. Oh, Feeling nice. good. Feeling good. Hey. Oh, my. It's Kendall J and Miss Jess. Having fun with the lakes of LSU. Get it, Aiden. Get it, buddy. I'm trying to do an interview with, you know, Jennifer Maha, creative director of Louisiana Marathon, but she just won't stop dancing. That, that hurts my hip, actually. Like, are you, are, I, I, I feel like I couldn't even do that drunk. Like, are you, do you know what you're doing? No. Oh, hello. So I'm here with 
Jennifer Maha, yep. the creative director of the Louisiana Marathon. We're so excited. Our sixth year here in Baton Rouge, Go Run LA. First year we started with one rider. Across this weekend we had just under a hundred riders. So obviously next year we're, we're gonna go. We're gonna break. We're gonna go, we're gonna go triple digits. One on one. We're overachievers, right? So what does it mean to you as the creative director of this just instrumental race here in the South and across the nation? And for us as Angels Angels, you know, big partners. Big partners is a bad word, right? We're family. Yeah. So you know, thank you for having us. But what does it mean for you to see one to ninety? Four, I think it was writers. It has been a tremendous um, joy for all of us to watch Angel's Angel grow. Um, the first writer that we ever had was amazing, and a lot of people had questions about what was the chair for, what's going on, who's Angel's Angels, and now it's expected. It's expected that y'all are going to start the race, that y'all are going to have a presence out there. There's going to be pink chairs, everyone, and it makes a difference to the runners. It makes a difference to us because we know who y'all are and what y'all do, and like you said, y'all are our family. But to the runners on the course are having a hard day and they're struggling and they don't know if they can make it or they're they're just having a hard time. Every time they see a chair, it changes them in their heart and it changes something inside of them and it gives them that inspiration to keep going, to keep pushing harder. Um, the people who work at the finish line, even the volunteers and they're handing out medals and they're tired, you know, they're cold, maybe they're not having a good day. They see those angels come across that finish line and it moves them too and it changes them a little bit. And I can say that yesterday, when we had to cancel two of our events due to weather, that was a hard day. That was a hard day for our team. That was a hard day for our runners. But you guys saved the day. Uh, I announced it to y'all that we couldn't have the race, and y'all improvised, and the weather hadn't gotten bad over here yet, and y'all ran around a building, and y'all had your own finish line, and they, everybody got medals, and the governor came out, and it was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And I know everyone else that watched it thought so too. And we are tremendously happy to have you guys as our family and have you at our race because it reminds us of our why. And our why is to keep doing things we love with people we love, no matter no matter who they are. And, and so thank you all for being a part of it. Again, thank you for having us. And, and it's it's great. I mean, I did the half today and, I, and I've done the full here before, but you're right. Whether it's 13.1 or 26.2 or 6.55, I got that right. I'm pretty proud of myself. Yeah. Or 3.1, the runners here love it and they're like hey great job it is something that you don't see at your average race the love that is held here in baton rouge it's special and for that sister i thank you thank you guys and we'll see you in 365 days see you in 2020 with 101 riders bye finished of course like mile 19 what happened boom the wheel the, yeah the wheels blew and then we got in touch with people mcgee and his team made it happen got your wheels fixed and the fireman the police officer big man what do he say police officer big guy I yeah mean, six foot shoulders after here was there because you know the crowd gathered around so he went to, he went there and she is crying she's got tears yeah. coming down her cheek this big guy broke down and started crying and hugged her and said it's gonna be okay we'll fix it for you you'll be able to finish and then what happened they showed up. Yeah, they wow. Like NASCAR pit team. Yeah, hey, man. They showed up like. Well, uh, how you doing? I actually feel pretty you good. You did good. You got your uh, annual neck pillow and uh, you're stretching um, some random stairs somewhere in the travel. Charlotte airport. <laughs> Looking good, me. Thank you. There you are. Hey, Donovan. Kendall's awfully happy. Why do you think she's so happy? because I finished both races. One race was canceled, but we made our own race. I finished a half marathon even though I had to walk a lot of bed. That's okay. What else do you think uh, Kendall's happy about this weekend? <laughs> I like it when she smiles. <laughs> we got to see all of our friends and family from the South, and, and it was so Declan Isaac. Oh, so rolling. Yeah. Sorry, I about that. Stop interrupting the video. And <laughs> Kendall thinks it's funny. Yeah, Kendall, is that a blooper for sure, right? All right, can you tell all of our friends and family we'll see them next year? Yes, we'll see you next year. We're signing off. I'm, I'm signing off. A young angel born with wings. She stays strong. Hanging out with this dude, you know, Jody's son, Trenton. What do we need to do with Spotlight from now on? Bring Rocky back. Bring Rocky back. Christine, Riley, what you think? Rocky, let's do it.
Do not staple it. <laughs> 